Hey guys, this is a quick tutorial on our workout tracking app called SugarWad. So I'm going to click into SugarWad. It's the blue tile there on the bottom left. Once I click into it, you're going to see a picture of our athletes. And then as you scroll down, you're going to see our warm up, and then our strength session, and then our workout of the day. Okay, underneath that you also see Quick Fit, and then um, we have a weightlifting program going on right now, so it's at the very bottom. So don't worry about that. The top three are the ones you're going to be looking at. Um, so I'm going to scroll back up. Um, just a quick note: uh, this is our gym workout, um, and as you can see under the picture, it says workout of the day. If I click the down arrow on that, I can go to remote training, and these are our home workouts. If you click on remote training, it'll take you to the home workout. And there's also a YouTube instructional video attached. So those can be done at home with very minimal equipment. I'm going to go back to workout of the day and then I'm going to scroll down. And um, we're going to go to the WAD and we're going to click um, prepare. So if you're new to Sugar WAD and new to CrossFit, you might want to use this um, because this is a neat little button here that will take you to some YouTube instructional videos. So um, when I program the WAD in, it picks up words that we're using in the workout, which are movements, and it will attach YouTube instructional videos. So as you can see, um, bar muscle up, pull up, walking lunges, those are all things we're doing in the workout. You can click on those links and it'll take you to a video. You can watch the movement. Um, either way, the coach is going to be coaching through this, so you don't have to do that. And then when I'm done with the workout, I'm going to click log results. And for this one, it's a rounds plus reps. So I'll just type in a number here, whatever that might be. Um, and then if I had any notes, let's say I did my lunges with no weight, I might type that in there. Or um, if I scaled any gymnastic movement, you can type it in there as well. You do have to click RX or scaled, okay? It won't let you click save unless you click one of these. Um, I'll explain RX here in just a second, um, but RX is typically the hardest version of the workout. So <clears throat> for level three, that's going to be our RX version. Um, the first numbers here um, under level three, 45 slash 35, that's men and women's weight. And then the M, that's our masters, uh, 40 to 49 category. So their weight for the men is 35, their weight for the women is 25. And then level two um, is our intermediate level. This is where the majority of our athletes um, do their workouts. And this is also the RX version for our 50 and over, just FYI. Um, so let me scroll back up here. Um, one side note, y'all, is you will get a push notification around 5 o'clock the night before letting you know about the workout for the next day. So that's kind of cool. Um, if you need to backlog a workout, you just want to click on to the left side of the picture and it'll take you to the day before. The day before happens to be Sunday, so there's nothing in here. Um, but you can also click to the right of the picture and you can skip to the next day. So you can actually view the workouts for the next day. We enabled that function. Um, the other cool thing that you can do, I'm going to go back to today and <clears throat> it's a little slow. And I'm going to go down here and I'm going to look in the strength work that they did. I'm going to look at the results. This is the leaderboard. So whenever you enter your score, it's going to pop up here in the leaderboard. Um, mine shows the women first and the men underneath. And I'm just going to go into Dina and I'm going to give her a fist bump. So she'll actually get a notification that I gave her a fist bump. And I'm going to go into Michael and I'm going to comment. And so this is kind of a cool just way to encourage your fellow athletes. They'll get these messages. I think it's a push notification as well. And that's about it. Um, you guys can dive into some of the details along the bottom. Um, but for the most part, that's all you will need to know.